But if you look back on everybody's videos that you like now, let's say you follow Gary V, just go back to his first videos. They were dark and ugly mm -hmm. and, and simple. And, yeah. and, and there wasn't... By the way, don't go to YouTube and look up Brian Lovell. <laughs> Please <laughs> go on YouTube and look up Brian Lovell. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> you won't believe <laughs> what you he did. You won't believe it. That's you won't right. believe it. because you're of a certain age that TikTok's not for you you are yep. mistaken that is not correct and uh, right. yeah the, the, I think that's the point I mean in business we want to attract the most customers we can so you need to be on different platforms absolutely you um, need to be there mm -hmm. what, what do you know about like sharing like if you put a YouTube link via Facebook is that a no-no it is do that it, separate it, it, that. it is a no-no and um, uh, what we want to do is always take our videos and upload them natively raw it means directly to, to a particular platform. platform because you don't share you know another uh you know lending companies videos facebook and youtube are rivals Correct. they are absolutely not in connection with each other whatsoever so when facebook sees that a youtube video is linked over from youtube on there it's going to crush Cut the it. ability for that to be seen so it's almost a waste of your tip. time that's and energy that's a pro tip out there by the way thank you yeah. absolutely upload it directly that's why i say trickle down start with the youtube the great thing about youtube is Typically, people are going on there to consume information, to learn how to get a loan application done, to learn what the up-to-date information on rates Fix and my what's going on in the market. Whatever it is, that's where you go. Correct. But the cool yeah. thing is, when you get some editing, we got some guys in here that know <laughs> editing, and there's plenty of places out there of people that don't know editing to get help. Fiverr.com, yeah. Upwork.com. Yeah. But take that long form, cut out some beautiful shorter clips, and start putting them on Instagram and put them on Keep Facebook. Talking. But you want to put them directly onto there and not be cross-sharing like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that is a very helpful tip, actually. Don't do it. We, we want to produce, publish, and profit from our videos. So we want to do everything that works it the down. best. I've done it, and I, I know several, several other folks that have done that and try to explain the, that it just buries it. Facebook just does not like to be no, pulled off their platform. Because Facebook doesn't want, they're, they're not going to show that post because they don't want you clicking the link to go to YouTube. Correct. Is what you're saying. Yeah, because yeah, it's going it to take them away, yeah. pull you directly off that right. platform. And that doesn't help them with their advertisers whatsoever. Mm -hmm. and, and that leads us to another point, too. I advertisement. Yep. Advertisement. Paid ads. So it used to be, and it is on TikTok still, organic reach. Mm -hmm. I, can, I, I had a video that I did in downtown Tampa. I had my first two and a half million views on TikTok. It's the first time I've ever hit a million wow. plus. I did 2.5 million because Whoa. that's the type of opportunity that is available on TikTok for all ages to be able to take advantage of that. And then on your profile, have linked out to other places where people can get more or learn more on all sure. the other good stuff. So um, yeah, TikTok is uh, just organic. But when it comes to Facebook, these are really pay to play pla pla platforms. Let me get yeah, that out. 100%. Blah, blah, blah. It's very important that you understand that yes, you can make videos and get them out to your a small percentage of your audience. But what we need to do is be finding out, first of all, we got to stop stopping ourselves from the video. And then we've got to either work with a company or take a little bit of time to learn the knowledge yourself to put a small budget, you know, it doesn't have to be a lot monthly, right. a lot that out of your marketing budget to boost these posts and not by putting your clicker on the boost button. I don't want you to boost posts. I want you to use the ads manager and actually upload those videos onto there and to be able to select. It's not like it used to be with housing and, and loan officers and whatnot years ago, but you're gonna be able to spe specify who you really want to see to this see video. Yep. And of course also do things like retargeting, which is that already existing database that you have. You're at the open house. You're, you're a loan officer that was there with the uh, um, at the open house and you got that that sign in sheet there sure. you can actually upload those email addresses to the ads campaign and retarget those people so those people that just saw you are then going to see you again wow. because you have the power to do that through through buying ads and it's not that hard that's awesome that is awesome yeah and i mean i think that that the reach was probably there five ten years ago via facebook it was. right but they've yes. shut it down so essentially if you do not pay for ads it it, it goes virtually nowhere and it doesn't have to be a major thing and 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 yeah, it doesn't have to be a large budget bucks a week or do yeah. something yeah e even less than that can make okay. a difference with what you're doing um yeah it used to be very easy to create an organic audience it's just not there but TikTok allows for that okay. and youtube does allow for that and utilizing google 
which is pretty much where I'm starting every search that I do for anything. And yep. most people are. Yep. So be found on there. Um, very, very important to, to, to know a little bit more about ads. So video was one thing. Mm -hmm. Now we've got to be able to get it out to the people that matter that we can create a relationship with yep. and get to the closing table with. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I just think, you know, it makes me think we we're talking about that tar you know, the targeting he was just talking about. So like if you're a real estate agent, you would want to have like your entire database uploaded in that. Emails, you, yes. emails and phone numbers. Yeah. If you're a Correct. loan officer, it's, you know, if you're direct, if you're a consumer trying to reach the consumer, it's, you know, everybody you've touched, right? From the consumer's perspective, if it's something you want to get out to your referral partners, that needs to be uploaded. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so. That's yeah, I mean, and, and the way that works, you're, you're paying for them to see your post over a two to three day period or a week period. Yes. And every time they start scrolling, they should, you know, maybe I, I think it's, if you upload 100, I think you, the reach is about 30%, 40%. Sounds and they're about right. They're going to, you're scrolling down and they're going to see you again. And you're, you're going to become top of mind and they're going to subtly wonder. That's what it's about. How they see in Ryan Owens. I, I, I see this guy all the time. Yeah, it's about attention is a currency. Attention is a currency. And what we don't want to do is there's two levels of obscurity. And I learned this from my man, Grant Cardone, years ago. The first level of obscurity is I don't know you. Just like when I came here to Florida, nobody knew me. Mm -hmm. That's a problem when I'm trying to do business because I, if I don't know you, I can't flow you. I can't get to the closing table with you. I don't know who you are. So this is where consistency comes in because the obscurity level number two is I totally forgot about you. I've got pings coming up, emails, clients, kids, all this other stuff. Sure. So the consistency is so I don't forget about you and get into obscurity level number two. So we can't just make one great video. We can't yeah. pay a Amen. videographer to do that one awesome video that you get some kudos about. You know, we need to be putting efforts into consistent action that's going to create and foster so an audience. So give us a plan on that. Like somebody yeah. that's new to it, how often, like, do you, is it once a week? Is it every other day? Is it multiple times a day? What, what, what do you suggest? Now, there are some graphs out there that show that different portions of the week at different times mm -hmm. are good. But really, really, I want you to post a video when you've got the energy and value to give to the public. That's what I want you to do. When you've got information that needs to go out there, I don't want anybody getting even more, you know, uh, crippled when it comes to putting out videos by wondering what times is the best. Right. You just need to get out content out there because you know a lot and there are millions of people beneath you that have no idea the knowledge that you have and sure. they, they might be there all the time. So it's really about, you know, we have time management, which I know Brian's very much into, but we got to think about energy management. When I've got the energy with all yep. the stuff that I'm doing to create a video, I want to make a video then, yep. I want to publish it then, and move on to the next yep. one. I, th yep. I think the cool thing is don't get hung up on the likes and the, you know, necessarily a lot of people won't yes. like your video. So, you know, I, I often hear this from LOs and different salespeople. I never knew that guy followed me. You know, right. You know, I mean, but he has apparently viewed the last three or four videos I, I did. That's exactly and right. And he reached out to me via phone. I have no idea who it is. You'll find that at networking. You know, we used to do that a lot more. It's been a little sparse here over the last sure, 18 yeah. months or so. Yeah. But what I found a lot was that people don't like your stuff, but they like your stuff. Right. They're just not hitting That it. bang right there. They just don't. Because when you go, because what we don't want to do is get hiding behind videos and internet and all of that. The point is to create a warm audience and then go out there and shake hands. And what you will yep. find That's is people awesome. said, I loved your video. I actually have gotten to know you. I like you. We need to catch a lunch. We need to do yep. something like that. People aren't liking it. Online. But they awful. like I it. Say, I would say our friend Aaron says all the time, right? Aaron Luton. He says, you got to take your online relationships offline. Yes, you got to go out in the streets. It's not to stick behind a computer. Yep. It's a great place Amen. to start, and yeah. it is the place you should be starting because on a scale, I can get people to know, like, and trust me. And then I go out there, and those people start getting attracted and closer to closer to me, and we've got magic. Yeah, we've got partners. So, Ryan, let me ask you a question. And this may be, you know, we may have moved way past this, but I'll come back to it real All quick. All right, let's do it. Is <laughs> for that person who's wanting to get started doing this, what do they need? Right, okay. and, and what I mean is like. You know, I think one of the reasons why not, this is why I don't do it is, well, I don't have the right script stuff. I don't have yeah. the right scripts. I don't have the right equipment. 
What is it? That's all excuses. None of that is valid at all. None of that is valid at all. You have a script unless you're brand new in the business, but then guess what? Then you go talk to a Brian Lovell or an experienced person and say, what are the frequently most asked questions that you get in your business? And I want you to tell me the answers and I'm going to go make content about that. So I can seem knowledgeable and I can grow in my knowledge. Sure. There's zero excuses to not uh, get behind the camera right now. And then we have people that have been used to hiding behind faceless digital communication. We have been just, just indoctrinated with using emails and using yeah. text that doesn't show a human being. But what you'll come to find is when you start doing video is that people want to see you. We've been socially distanced yeah, forever. Uh, for a long time. Yep, now right. is the greatest time on earth to close in that gap by showing up as a person and, and getting in front of them. You're going to find that you're going to convert leads higher by introducing video into your lead follow up. You're going to convert at a much higher rate. You're going to communicate better than ever, and you're going to connect with people in a, in a deep, deep way. Um, it's, it's really about noticing that you have everything you need right here with your cell phone, and there's some extras that you can get, some lighting. It's important to have good lighting. You don't want to make a dark video. Yeah. You want to be heard with crisp, clear audio. Yeah, you but know. like, I mean, to the lighting thing nowadays, they make those little beauty rings. That you could buy that yeah. for like 20 bucks. You but, don't need. But guess what's also yeah, available? Like the Florida sun. That's true. Right. It comes through the windows. <laughs> you, know. you just get in front of that. It's in Ohio. Have, <laughs> yes. And we, we do have More the sun out there, <laughs> but it's not the Florida sun. I tell people that come down here, we don't have the same sun. So don't it's think not the it's going to bite you. Yeah. So this respect one will. it. This yes, one will it will. You. It's dangerous. This one's dangerous. But also too, I think people are looking at influencers that are ahead of them or loan officers that That's are ahead point. of them. Yep. Here's the thing. You don't need a million followers. Here's what you need. You need between 100, and this is it, 100 and 150 people to know, like, and trust you and be ambassadors of your business, and that is it. Forget 151 or 200. That's too many. You need to be able to foster relationships and get people 100 to 150 people. So that person that's got 300 on their Facebook, if they had half of that, knowing, liking them, and doing business with them, they'd Boom. be a top one yep. percenter in their industry. Yeah. We don't need a million followers. So don't, and don't think that you're behind now. I actually thought when I was talking about video five, six years ago, people would be behind by now. You're not. This is the time to start right this very second. And uh, people are searching for you. The problem is you're not showing up, but other people are. And the problem with that is they're not as good as you. Yeah. They can't provide the service that you have, but they got them because they showed up. We've got to show up. We've got to get in front of the camera and hit record. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Go ahead, John. Yeah, I mean, and then the return on investment, how do you gauge that? If you start doing video and you've done maybe two or three months worth and you're doing one a week, mm -hmm. um, I think the important thing is is like people might not like your video, but they're going to recognize Good. you and, and they, they, they're going to come to you at some point to not give up. Yeah. So gauging like the value of them spending the time to do it and create the content to understand that it pays off. Like it doesn't happen immediately, but it, it, it takes a little bit of time. Well, I want to make it very clear. I'm not going to go over my tax or my W-2s or anything, but I will make it very clear. It does take some time to create an audience and to then go out, like Aaron said, and meet these people and create an actual relationship with them. But it is worth it. I went from zero dollars. I make well over six figures plus now due to and very intricately tied to my video production from me showing up and putting information out there and then teaching it as well. And through teaching, I learned even more. But video alone has created an influence, a, a, a market for me, uh, relationships that otherwise would not have been there. And I've been able to exponentially awesome. put my income into the air. And I know that anybody who takes this seriously and builds and doesn't think about just the very now or getting a loan application in two seconds, right. mm -hmm. but has the strategies are showing up on video and then they're having a call to action. Maybe they have a landing page where they can give out a free uh, book on how to buy a house right now or some sort of give that they have where yep. they can collect information and then they use it in their CRM. That's a great point. I yep. love that. It, it's, just, it's a it's a connection so it's great we got the video started but now we've got to add put some ads behind it have yep. a landing page give away a free item that's really important for the consumer out there yep. collect their information put that in your crm show back up with a video now you're tracking them all over the place and then we get into things like pixels and different things you know when you went to a website and then you go somewhere else yep. and there's there's that person yep. again yep their yep. little ad is in the thing or whatever yeah. you can be that person it with not much dollars spent my tv listens to me i mean literally if oh, we talk about cars everything's it seems like everything's seeing. listening Hotels, in these days boom. <laughs> 
I mean, yeah. it's yeah, definitely being spied on. But you can absolutely do that and grow your business uh, with, with video and then having a bit of a system behind it. And it's not that hard. It really isn't. Um, and there's plenty of gurus out there. There's plenty of companies. There's plenty of YouTube channels for absolutely free. Yep. Speaking of YouTube, to learn how to do these yep. things or hire someone on your team that's able to, you know, the importance of this. Maybe you're not the best on camera. Maybe you've tried and you've tried and you're just not, uh, and you don't need to have the energy of me. Extroverts do great. You don't have to be handsome. I actually recommend you being ugly. People, I, I, I you don't have to have uh, yourself doing it, but have somebody on the team who's going to be okay. a face of your business. And I was going to say, what about like a graphic type video? Um, Absolutely. Those work really well. Caricature or something like that. Yeah. Caricature, whiteboard videos. Those yep. things are well. It's just the, it's just, but I always recommend to have the the brand the, the you in the face all these thumbnails if you go on youtube uh you'll see thumbnails and they always have a person's face on it why and why why do they say that if you have faces and video on your on your um your website that you're going to have that much more seo more people coming to the website because people connect with faces we're, we're relying on two hundred thousand years or whatever your beliefs are on evolution of seeing people and connecting with them right. use your face you got, you got to see them eye to eye. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons I know a lot of us want to get into teleprompters and we got apps like big view and all these things. But the problem is it takes your eyes down away. You're reading and none right. of us are the great orators or readers. Yep. You need to be looking directly into the camera. That's where the connection is made right through these windows to your soul right here. Yeah. That's important. So Ryan, I think one of the other excuses people make up for bring not it on, I'll knock it down <laughs> is, uh, is content. I don't know what to right. do. Right. Right. What do you mean you don't know what to do? Have you been in the business more than a week? You've got a lot of things that people need to know on how to best navigate their problem, which is I don't have a home. I don't have a loan to buy the home. You've got all kinds of, you've got, there's a pamphlet probably sitting right outside of this door <laughs> that's got information that I could recreate and put out there with my face and get people's attention. There's no excuses for I don't know what to say. Like, like I said, if you're new in the business, go talk to somebody who's been there and pick their brain about what do you always hear? What are people always having problems with? Your videos should be solving problems regularly. So what's a problem for someone who's having trouble getting a home? I'm sure you can come up with something that's sure. a barrier of entry to get in that home loan or whatnot. Yeah. Talk about that. And, and, and then that's why I want to talk about some of these hooks that I've got here, because that's what we, if we really want to get attention with how fast we're scrolling and everything, good thing is on YouTube, people go there with the mentality already that I'm going to consume some content here. A lot of the others were scrolling and we really need to catch yeah. them very quickly because sure. our attention spans are about that of a goldfish, you know, especially <laughs> mine. I see my, my partner says I see squirrels all the time. Uh, let me give you a few of those. Shiny let me give you a few hooks yeah, to, get yeah, your, yeah. to get your video. Oh, off here with. it is. Fire it up. <laughs> so I, I've done a lot of research, watched a lot of videos, and um, here's, here's 10 different hooks that you're going to want to say within the first three to five seconds. Uh, you won't believe this. There's one right there. That's a hook. I won't believe this. What do you mean? I bet I will believe it. I'm going <laughs> to sit here and watch it. Number two. <laughs> X reasons why people love numbers and lists of things. Here's X reasons why da, 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 da. That's a hook. Number three, uh, here's something you didn't know. Yeah, right. I know everything. <laughs> something I don't know. Yeah. That's Bring a hook. It. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. Uh, a simple, important tip. Uh, number five, 10, you know, insert your tools or tips. I wish I knew earlier. Yep. Huge hook. Top five sites or creators I use to do blank. How I got blank done in 24 hours. Nobody is talking about boom. Nobody's talking about this. Insert your niche right there. Uh, this is why blank isn't working. This is why you're not able to get qualified. This is why your recent attempts to get a home isn't working. I'm going to tell you why right now. 10, here are 10 tiny tips that can help you do so what? So there's 10 hooks right there for when you're making those videos to get things started. And then going off into what you know best, which should be what you're doing every day to provide yourself with income yep. and uh, grow your influence in your business. Great tips. Yeah, those are good tips. You know, back to the classes, Don, yeah. you, it sounds like you've done a lot of teaching and help, you know, help some folks get I'll into try. video. Yes. Like, what do you recommend if somebody's really t ready to dive in, spend two or three hours going to a seminar? Like, I mean, there's a lot more to it than just yeah, ready, well, set, go. But Sure. And, 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 and there is. Um, but if you look back on everybody's videos that you like now, let's say you follow Gary V. Just go back to his first videos. They were dark and ugly mm -hmm. and, and simple. And, yeah. and, and there wasn't, by the way, don't go to YouTube and look up Brian Lovell. 
<laughs> Please go on YouTube and look up Brian Lovell. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> you won't believe <laughs> what you he did. You won't believe it. You That's won't believe right. it. But, uh, but it's going to make, if you go there, it's going to make his point. <laughs> right. If you go there, it's going to make his point. The Just, early days, yes. they look like crap. Yes, we've got to grow in this. We're going to grow as people. You've grown since who you were five years ago. I certainly have. If you yeah. haven't, I don't know anybody that hasn't grown. But getting outside of that comfort zone, you're going to start to get comfortable. You're going to start to get attention. You're going to start having a warmer audience. You're going to convert leads higher. There's going to be benefits that you're going to see 100%. if you stick with it. Yep. It's going to happen. If it doesn't, I'll give you, if it doesn't happen, I'm not gonna. I was gonna like offer money or something like that, but I'm not gonna do all we'll that. We'll give you a T-shirt. Yes, we'll give you a T-shirt. Yes, I got one right here. Actually, let's show them. Let's show them the goods here. Contacts to contracts, baby. So you get one of these shirts. If, if it doesn't work, you get a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's it, and it's also too. I used to tell people to not strive for perfection. I don't do that anymore. I tell people to strive for perfection and embrace excellence because you're crappy video is better than anybody's non-existent yep. video. Amen. Amen. Yep. Hallelujah. Amen. So I have somebody that does quite a few videos and his thing is one take and done. Yeah. If I miss something, I keep moving on yep. because they want to know, like, and trust me. Yeah, it's okay. You know, and we're not perfect. I mean, you yeah, know. I relate to imperfection and I know most people do too. Mm -hmm. Um, also, if you want to start on YouTube, I've got I've got uh, a few of the highest converting video ads ever. Well, I might we might we could give that as a as a bonus later. But you know, there's there certain videos that are just guaranteed to attract you know business, and this is more for real estate agents uh, than anything. But um, we just got to care about our business, and the reason you're striving for perfection is because you care about your yep. business. So I don't want to halt people from perfection. Strive towards it, but embrace that excellence. And you starting, getting outside of your comfort zone, making a video is absolutely excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Gentlemen, anything else we should cover? We're, we're going deep here on this episode. Or, uh, any any other questions? Keep, we could probably keep going on this. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys got any other questions or anything, just start doing video today. I mean, you've heard it on every conference. You've heard it from every Tom, Ferry, Harry that's out there. Yep. Um, it's, time, it's time to go. And if you look on YouTube in the Tampa Bay area, there's one or two people that are, that are covering, especially in real estate. There, uh, there's one lady named Melanie. You'll find her on there, but that is it. You have such an opportunity wow. to get seen. Wow, that's great. Dude, Ryan, thanks for joining us, man. Thanks you for having me. You came in here and dropped some bombs. I hope so. You did great. That's awesome. So, this, uh, this looks expensive. I'd, wanna, I'd like to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Man, we appreciate you joining us. And uh, if thanks you're watching and, and you like what we saw, don't forget to look up Ryan. Look Ryan Owens up. Um, you can find him on Facebook and probably all of those other things that he shared with Ryan you. Ryan Owen's title on Instagram. We're going to throw this in there. Go ahead and shoot a video. Send us the video, and we're going to send you a T-shirt. There you go. Hey, that's If you good. watch this yeah. episode and you send us a video, yep. we'll get you a T-shirt. That's Perfect. a great idea. Mention the video episode, Contacts the Contracts, yep. baby. Yep. yep. <laughs> but if you like what you saw, don't forget to like and share. And on behalf of Ryan, John, myself, if there's anything that you ever need, always here to serve.